So I hope you liked the compilations and I hope they just gave you like an idea of what Bishop can do. It wasn't really like a guide because I don't think he really has a set rotation because uh, it really just depends on like the fight, you know? Like if it's a purify fight, just SP1 spam, they'll die. <laughs> if it's just like a general fight, you can, you can run the SP3, SP2 rotation. You can do like the purely SP2 rotation. It's just up to you, like up to... I guess how you want to play him in that fight, you know? And my final critiques. Okay. So overall, I think he is good. I think he is worth ranking up. And I think that he will have a use in your account. And the worst case scenario, he is a good defender. I don't want, I didn't like really want to talk about that, but it, just know he is a good defender. So that will, that's automatically a use, but he can... I hope you like I hope you got from the video that he can do a lot of things. And I'm I, I don't mind like critiquing him. I know that he has a lot of problems. Well not a lot, but he does have a few problems. Like the crit reliance. The damage is good when you don't crit, but it can I can see how it like falls off, you know, how it like lacks in comparison to other mutants. But what else? Oh yeah, the if you want the maximum potential, it's annoying how you have to like end the fight with two bars, but like I said in the beginning, you don't really need it. It's just an added bonus, you know? And another thing I don't like, it's a small pet peeve that one of my friends pointed out. The the passive stun thing is only for skill characters. Uh I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know why they did that to him and they like made Storm X do every class. I think that's pretty annoying. And I would say that's about it. Maybe the fact that he does pure like he does punish purify, but his debuffs can still be removed and I that's only important for like for like the energy vulnerability one cuz that's like a massive damage increase. 
and it can just like go away pretty easily so that's one thing you need to be, like you need to be careful of by the way like if not they can purify it maybe you don't want to uh use it because like the sp3 doesn't do all that much damage and especially if the debuff's gonna come up like it's gonna go away you do not want to use it like i should have pointed this out in the beginning do not use the sp3 if they are like not at full health only use that at the, at the very beginning uh i hope that you got that throughout the video because it just doesn't it's not worth it uh if it's like not permanent um any other critiques i like the fact that he can purify the bleed i just wish it was like a full bleed immunity i guess uh but i can see why they didn't make it a full bleed immunity <laughs> I don't think he's, like, bleed immune in the comics and all that. I don't think he, like, lacks blood or anything. But, yeah, everything... All my other critiques are just going to be really small. I think he is a great character overall. Like, some positives. I think he is the absolute best character that uh, punishes Purify. He is mad at... He is just so good at, purif like, punishing Purify. I think that is his best thing. If not that... The energy adoption cheese is so good. <laughs> like, the energy adoption ice. I hope you like that one. I enjoyed it so much, especially since that Punisher uh, really gave me a bad time when I was exploring 6.4. I think he is one of the best options for that path. And I think he's just one of the best options for energy adoption, period. 